Yum, yum. Hello, this is Greg from Pixel Fondue, and I am going to show you how to align multiple items in a line, in an array, in a circle, along a curve, all that good stuff. So let's say you want to align these glasses. These are a bunch of glasses. They're all actually um, you know, sitting on top of each other at zero, zero, zero. This is what they look like, nice little martini glass. Not a big martini guy myself, but you could probably dump a margarita in there, it'd be fine. Uh, okay, so this is our pretend bar. That's the bar, these are shelves behind the bar, where all my favorite drinks are, just bear with me. Use your imagination, little folks. Okay, so I've got all these glasses here, and I wanna spread them out in an equal line, just equidistant apart um, on this bar top here. So, how do I do that? Well, I can do that pretty easily. I go and select my glasses, I can just shift grab them like that, and over here on the duplicate tab. I know it seems a little weird, but it is on the duplicate tab, and I go to array, click and hold, and you'll see instance array, replica array, and transform array. Sounds mysterious. Uh, it is a little mysterious, actually, but um, that's what it's called, and this is what it does. So I select that, and you'll see I've got a 2x2x2 two by two by two array with one meter offset, and if I click, you'll see these guys have been put into something I totally don't want, but you get the idea here. There's only five items, so it skipped the last one, but it tried to do two by two by two, right? And uh, about offset, you know, there's some handles here for offset, just like that, dun dun dun. But we don't want them floating in the air, we just want them all on X, so say five and X and one and one, like that. And then I can drag my handle like that. Now they're all equidistantly transformed, okay? So they're all getting transformed in item mode equidistantly. Um, on the x-axis and I can do this a couple different ways I can with between off what it'll do if I want them all 0.25 meters apart Then it'll be 0.25 0.25 0.25 0.25, 0.25 like that or you know or 0.5 or whatever you want like that But if I say like okay, there's only a meter of the bar here I just want them all um, Spaced out equally within a meter I can hit between and say one meter and then all five of these are just spaced out evenly within a meter That's great uh, now you might be asking, can I then move all five of these up to this shelf or over here or someplace else? I don't want them here. I like it that they're all apart, but I want them someplace else. And the answer is no, <laughs> you cannot. You have to uh, go to the move tool and move them around. So I just press W and I move them around. Um, another way you can do it though, and this gets a little bit, it doesn't get a little weird. It's just kind of weird how Moto does this. What the transform array tool will do is it's going to use the first item in the list over here in the item list. So if I grab all five of these guys, it's going to use the first item as home base. So I grabbed um, this guy first and it's gonna use this guy as home base, but it's going to put the item I grabbed last in this list as the first item and spread them out from here. Okay, I'm gonna say that again because it's a little weird. So if I grab um, these five items, one, two, three and we're going to actually skip this fourth one here grab the one on the end and then i'm the last i'm going to grab that guy right there so it's going to use the first item in the list like the literally the one highest up in the item list as the starting point for the transform array but it's going to put the item i grabbed last which is this green squat glass here as the first item when it actually transformed these so if i go to transform array and i click it all starts from where that uh, first guy was here, highest in the list. But as you can see, it you know the item I gra grabbed last, which is this green guy, gets to be placed there first. I know, a little weird. It's a little weird. Um, but what you can do, of course, is you just if I want all five of these, I can just grab the first item and I can place them wherever I want. Let's say I want them on the top shelf here because this is a top shelf kind of drink and like that and move them over pa boom and go back to perspective and if i grab that uh, whoops this is camera perspective then if i just you know grab these other guys and say i want to start off with the purple martini glass so i'll grab him last and then when i activate transform array it's going to pop all these guys up here where this first guy is but it's going to put purple martini guy first so transform array click and there we go purple martini is first and um there's our uh wine glass last so just like that I think it looks good. I know, it's a little weird, but it works. There we go, so let's, uh, those guys look good. Let's get some more glasses, and what, you say, would happen if I wanted to put these in a circle? So I've got five of them here. You know, what's, uh, five is fine, not much of a circle. Let's maybe duplicate a couple of these, so we feel a little bit better. Circle, I like that. Okay, so we've got a bunch of them here, so let's grab them all. And you might have guessed right, radial array, transform radial array, so select that. And I've got, I think, uh, eight items down here, eight items. So let's turn our count to eight. 
and y is correct, we'll click, and then I just drag out the radius of my circle, and what you'll see here is I have a start and end angle, so I want to do 0 and 360. So there we are in the full circle, and I can of course, you know, lower the radius here. You can also kind of play with this and transform them around, but we don't want to do that. We want them all nice here on the bar top. Um, and you can of course grab like the end and sort of, you know, make an arc if you want an arc instead of a circle, whatever you want. Sounds good. And then, uh, yeah, you can move these guys all around. Does this follow the same sort of rules in terms of first guy, last guy as uh, the transform array? I'm guessing it does. Let's test it. First guy is here. So that's going to be the start of our thing. And let's sort of grab this one, this one, this one, this one. So our last, the last one I'm grabbing is the little uh, green guy again. So I'm guessing when I start my array, little green guy will assume the position of the first guy uh, in the list here. And then it'll sort of be in reverse, reverse order of what I selected in, in terms of what's around here. So green guy is going to be first and then the uh, next last selected, the next last selected, this guy will be at the very end if I am correct. So transform array, click, whoop, not transform array, I want uh, radial array like that, click, very good. And yeah, I have no idea. So green guy is definitely first there on the end. And uh, in terms of actually where the center is, I don't know how that works actually. So you're just gonna have to set this up like this, how we do it, and then you're just gonna have to press W and move them wherever the hell you want them, because that tool's kinda weird too. Okay, fine, that's great, Greg. What if I wanna draw a curve? Well, yes, you can do that too. Let's do glasses number three. And I've got one, two, three, four, five of these guys. I'm just gonna shift click, and you can probably guess what we do. Curve clone, boom, 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 boom. Transform pin we have, we also have a B spline transform or a Bezier transform or a curve transform. So but basically this is whatever type of curve you like, a curve, a Bezier, a B spline curve or the pin, you just pick whatever. I'm just gonna go with curve here. And then I click and here we have steps. And this is gonna relate to the number of items again. So I have five items, I want five steps. Boom. And then I'm gonna go click. And this one act, um, for some reason is really freaking slow. I don't know why, it seems like it shouldn't be. But I made this sort of uh, wavy line here, and you can kind of see it. Yeah, I can, these are This is live, so you can adjust the little points if you select them. But I'm transforming them along a curve, and they are, in fact, equidistantly spaced along the curve, or so they are supposed to be. Yeah, I don't really look like they are. Maybe the curve isn't being interpolated correctly. I don't know, but it is transforming them along a curve. So there they are. Uh, yeah, so we got a circle and a curve and array. What else do you want? I don't know. All kinds of curves. Oh, you can scatter them. You can scatter them. Like if there's a ghost in the bar and it can levitate glasses, I can grab all of these guys. And I'm actually going to move them out in front like this. Maybe this is like the shining or something. And I go to scatter clone, transform scatter. And I, what is there like? Eight of these guys, great. Click and boom, I scatter transformed them all at once. So that's faster, I guess, than doing it by hand. And now you got some ghost stuff. Let's uh, scale them 15, 20, 33, because they're, uh, that's weird. 33, now they're all weirdly scaled. That doesn't look good. 20, hold down Control Alt, hit return. They're all 20. Looks good. Let's rotate them. Why not? It's a ghost. All right, you get it, that's how it works. Then of course, press W and you can move around wherever you want. But yeah, so there's some uh, alignment going on there. Just really quickly, if you press F4, you can use the align tools to singularly align things. So let's say I've got um, this guy and I want him aligned to this guy. So I click this guy and then I click this guy and I say align position and it pops it down there, right? I'm gonna control Z that. What's cool is you can also do rotation or uh, scale. So if this guy's really big, Na, 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 na. And I want this guy to be big too because there's a giant who comes through the bar. I click this guy, then I click this guy, and I just say match scale, boom, like that. So that's pretty cool, but it doesn't work with this sort of equidistant thing that we were doing earlier. So if you want to align things and transform them equidistantly, you go to the duplicate tab and you go to the transform array or the transform radial array or the transform scatter or the curve transform. Keyword being transform. All right, I think that's enough. Go transform some things.
Yum, yum!